Hello guys, we are back with our next set of series. In this lectures, we are going to start the third unit guys. So the whole third unit consists of a transport layer, TCP protocol and UDP protocol. Guys, we will be discussing about these three topics only in around 15 to 20 lectures guys, in our upcoming 15 to 20 lectures, okay? So in the first two, three lectures, we'll be introducing about transport layer. After that, we'll be moving for around 10, 10 lectures on TCP, like all the possibilities of TCP, then we'll be moving on to UDP, okay? Okay. So in this lecture, let us go through what is transport layer. So basically till now we discussed about multiple layers, right? Okay. So we did discuss in our last lectures, we dis discussed about network layer where we learned about IP addresses and all those things like how addressing is done. Okay. So till now, how, where were you guys? Okay. So basically we went till here, right? So assume that this is a network and this is a network. If you want to send this packet from here to here using a router or anything, you somehow manage to reach it to the network. But now inside a network, there could be multiple devices. Okay. So to that devices, you reached somehow with the help of the IP address. Okay. And now with the IP address, so assume that you are running a computer. Will there be a single process or multiple processes running guys? At a particular instance of time, there could be multiple, sorry, there will be single process. But in the background also, there could be multiple things, right? Running. So there could be some application which is requesting for one file and some more application which is requesting for some other file. So th that particular file should be delivered, right? So this uh, delivery is a uh, taken care by the transport layer guys. Like you can say port to port delivery, it is popularly called as. Okay. So assume that you are using some kind of a game which uses the port number 8080. Okay. Just for example. Okay. So then the packet will be containing this port number so that it automatically goes to that particular name game only. That's in that way. So you can say that it is one more address now. So basically IP address. So assume that your IP address is in this way. Okay. So after that you will be mentioning the port number with the colon. Okay. So this will be your new address now. So in this way. Okay. Okay, so now let us go through some kind of theoretical explanation about transport layer. After that, we'll be going through the services, like what it is providing for us. Okay. Okay. So responsibilities of transport layer. So end-to-end -end delivery. That is nothing but port to port or process to process. So basically from one process to another process, it will be sending to the exact location indirectly, you can say, with the help of other layers. Okay. So it follows the main two protocols. Those are nothing but TCP and UDP. Error and flow control is managed. Yes, error and flow control is responsible or is taken care by transport layer. Multiplexing and demultiplexing the data is also possible. Guys, we'll be discussing about these concepts. Don't worry. Okay. So now let us go through the main services. So what does transport layer helps us? So basically, if you just recall, this diagram, you can identify something, right? So transport layer will be in between, right? So we call it as a heart of the OSI, right? Yes. So it collects the data or it transmits the data to the upper layers by collecting or transmitting the data to the lower layers. It will be connected directly guys. You can say there is a direct connection between the port to port, right? So it might be using the lower layers, but it is indirectly establishing the connection. So that is the main thing you should remember. So the service provided to the upper layer. So basically it provides a service to the upper layers. The upper layers of transport layer are nothing but session layer, presentation layer, application layer, etc. Yes, these are the three upper layers in the OSI model. So the ultimate goal of the transport layer is to provide efficiency guys. Efficient, reliable and cost effective service to its user normally processed in the application layer. Okay. So it you need to do faster and efficiently with less cost, right? Yes. So this is a small diagram guys. So assume that the host one is sending data to host two. So basically from the upper layer, the data is collected and the transport entity will be transmitting the data. Transport entity is nothing but it will be taking care of everything guys. Whatever the transport layer wants to do, it will be helping it. And each unit we will be calling it as TPDU guys. That is a transport protocol data unit. So this is the smallest unit which is the center. You can assume in that way. Okay. So it will be sent from here to here. So with the help of lower layers, please remember that if it is drawn directly, it is nothing. It is don't understand that. It is a direct connection. It is with the help of lower layers only. Okay. Okay. So you can draw the diagram in your examination. Okay. Similarly, components of software hardware in the transport layer are called as a transport entities. I, I again wrote transport layer. So those are called as transport entities. Okay. Okay. So there are two types of transport services similar to network services. So basically even transporting also you can do in multiple ways, right? So the major two ways are nothing but connection oriented and connectionless oriented. 
okay so the common faces in any type of connection oriented guys because in connection less you will be directly transmitting the data whereas in connection oriented first you need to establish connection then data transfer then release the connection so these are the three steps which you should follow connection establishment you need to transfer the data and connection release guys we'll be discussing about these with some common examples in our next lectures don't worry okay so that the next bottom four layers are called transport service providers so basically if you recall the diagram of osi you are having multiple layers right okay so these layers will be sending the data to transport layer and this whole day whole you can say that this all acts as a single layer that you can call it as a transport layer guys or it provides a transport services okay okay so transport service primitives guys okay so primitives are nothing but some kind of commands you can say to be in simple okay so transport service primitives are used by the user to access the transport services so if you want a particular service you need to access it right so to access them we will be using these kind of primitives guys okay sorry for that okay so now let us go through the primitives first one is a listen from the names only you can understand guys listen is nothing but here you will be listening it means you are not sending anything you are just listening so packet sent is nothing but none and meaning is a block block until some process tries to connect so you are trying to listen for someone's call or you are waiting for someone's call are you doing anything no are you just waiting yes connect connect is nothing but you are requesting for a connect signal guys okay so here you will be sending a connect request so you are dialing the call now so assume in that way okay and attempt to establish connection send so you are talking now so indirectly you are sharing your data or sharing your information so that is nothing but data sent information okay receive means you are waiting for someone so message right so you are waiting just so you are not sending anything block until data packet is arrived yes disconnect means you are sending a disconnect request you are saying him to cut the call okay you told bye and he told bye you are cutting the call yes if you draw a small example it will be in this way guys initially you will be listening or waiting the client so the server will always be twins server remember in this way guys server is a computer which is 24 by 7 on by 365 days also if you want to write okay and the client system is us like we the users okay so the client the server will be always be waiting for our request so when you create a request that is nothing but connection request then the server will be unblocked and it will accept the request okay then client is also ready so he'll be transferring the data he'll be receiving the data after that you will be disconnecting it and the disconnection is nothing but you are just closing the browser you assume in that way you closed it so if you want this same example in terms of web because web websites opening websites and all those concepts are really easy to understand when you are working with networking guys so assume that you want to open a website so the website files and everything are stored in the server so initially you will be sending a request to the server server will be understanding your request it will be fetching the data and it will be trans it will be establishing the connection then it will transfer the data okay after that at the end you will be closing the browser it is nothing but termination in that way the same logic in terms of networking okay okay so similarly you might be having a doubt that so how does these connections like port to port you are saying like everything how these are connected so that concept we will be calling it as sockets guys guys there is a particular dedicated chapter 5 for this sockets guys we will be discussing them in detail don't worry about that here i'll be just giving you some kind of introduction okay so socket is used for establishment of tcp i told you right connection oriented when you want to connect two ports with a connection you can say you will be going for this sockets concept so we are having multiple primitives those are nothing but you can say as commands so socket is nothing but you are creating a new connection bind is nothing but you are connecting that socket to a new address guys okay and listen is nothing but you are waiting for someone's data accept means nothing but you are accepting the data connect is nothing but you are establishing the connection send is nothing but you are trying to send the data receive is nothing but you are just waiting for receiving the data sorry close is nothing but to terminate okay okay so this is just an introduction about network layer guys so in this lecture we discussed about what is network layer and what are the main objectives of it and then we discussed about the three main features like how it is helpful for the upper layers after that we discussed about the trans uh, transport layer primitives after that we discussed about sockets okay okay so i hope everyone got some basic idea about this so in the next lecture we will be going through the main elements of transport layer i told you right we will be discussing about establishing connections and all those things we will be discussing in our next lecture guys okay okay so let us meet in the next lecture thank you thanks for watching